WMIX Sports brings you a special presentation of the Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon Shootout, hosted by Casey Middle School. Today's games are made possible with limited commercial interruption by Culver's of Mount Vernon. These games on WMIX Sports are brought to you in part by the Jefferson County Farm Bureau, Huey Funeral Home, Budget Building Supplies, Josh Finley, your country financial agent, and DollarSavingDeals.com. The Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon Shootout starts now. It does start now. What a special presentation we have for you today here on AM 940, 96.5 FM, or the WMIX Sports YouTube channel, or if you're feeling nasty, you can say the Section 618.com app. We won't. This is Junior High Basketball, of course, Section 618.com, the number one seat for Southern Illinois High School sports. Good afternoon to you. I'm Chris Hugo, Hank Evans alongside. Alan Ross is back at our Mount Vernon studio while Jeff Crow takes care of the camera angles tonight or this afternoon here at Casey Middle School. It's great to be with you here on this special presentation of the Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon Shootout hosted by Casey Middle School. Our first game should be a good one, at least on paper it's supposed to be, as the Woodlawn Warriors battle the Sacred Heart, and I may say Sacred Heart Griffin a time or two today. You'll have to forgive me, primarily a high school sports voice, but uh, the Sacred Heart Shamrocks out of Effingham. And this was a matchup that, of course, when Travis Pinkston, head coach of the Casey Middle School Junior Rams, was putting this together, doing all the legwork, getting things going, Henry, where this was supposed to be a good matchup. You have a Sacred Heart team coming in, placed in 1A in the IESA State Finals last year uh, in seventh grade. I believe a team that was 20-3, and 20-1, something in that neighborhood. They're 8-2 and two coming into today. But Woodlawn, of course, you looked at the seventh grade class from a year ago, turned into eighth graders, and Trevor McClure, Luke McKay, and company, and this was expected to be a great matchup. And certainly Woodlawn, they were 27-4 and four last year, and they bring back four starters. And had it not been for just an outstanding Waltonville team, that was three of the four losses. You know, Woodlawn may have won state last year. So certainly heading into this season, they're maybe the favorite to win Class S. Well, it could very well be. And you, took, you talk about the differences between the Southern Illinois Junior High School Athletic Association and the IESA. They have 7th grade and 8th grade state finals. Four-class system, they pretty well follow what the IHSA does. The SIJHSAA is broken down a little bit differently. S, M, and L, which it took me until my 7th grade year to figure out that meant small, medium, and large. Uh, but S, M, and L, the three classes, if you will, and the Woodlawn Cardinals and the or Woodlawn Warriors and the smallest of those, whereas same, pretty well the same token for Sacred Heart. I, I, I feel like about 90 kids or so in the Sacred Heart school, which is close to Effingham High School, not affiliated. Common confusion, and I thought this until you told me uh, not long ago, really not affiliated with, uh, with St. Anthony. They have their own grade school. I had always thought this was kind of like an all-saints and modern-day type situation Correct. in Breeze. It's not. And um, this is a separate school, and obviously if these kids want to go to St. Anthony and want to pay the tuition, they can. Or if they want to go to Effingham High School, they can, or T-Town or Dietrich, whichever side of the creek they may be on, um, they're, they're able to go wherever. But either way, long story short, they saw the matchup, they saw the potential, and hoping it will be a good one And today. this is certainly, I was talking to Mrs. Amy West, the athletic director, was kind enough to reach out to me, give me some information. They're trying to build their program, and they were looking for a game, you know, to challenge themselves a different team they won't see in the postseason. These teams will not meet as they're in two different associations. So it's a game this Shamrock team is certainly looking forward to playing. And then you start to wonder. They build things up up there. There's a lot more tendency right now of some schools wanting to join the Southern Illinois Junior High School Athletic Association. We've seen it out of the Metro East. We've seen it now with Altamont Lutheran joining the, the association about five, six, seven, maybe even a decade ago by now. But really, in terms of the two athletic organizations, very different. However, they both comply by IHSA and National Federation NFHS rules. And in more, more or less, any team that's not in the SIJSA, you know, is in the IESA. So it's certainly a lot more schools in that association, no doubt, and that, that's the four classes. Well, we all know that I hung around in the nerdatory a lot at Rome grade school in my junior high days. And, of course, we competed in IESA Scholar Bowl. Uh, back in the day. I don't know about you you folks over in Woodlawn, but we took our uh, we, Scholar Bowl very, very we, seriously. We, won an, I I, we won an IESA regional or two. We had to go to Jeff uh, for a regional, believe it or not. And then a sectional took us to Pal Hut, if I remember right. But, um, you know, it, it very similarly designated are the postseasons with the IESA and the IHSA, whereas the El Southern Illinois Junior High School Athletic Association go from regionals to air quotes state. And uh, the most unique thing, I, in my opinion, the breakdown of the seventh grade and eighth grade where I, I believe this Effingham Sacred Heart will be all eighth graders 
and you're, they're bringing back a lot of the guys that had success at the seventh grade level, of course. No doubt. Regardless of how you may be accessing us, maybe you're a Woodlawn Warriors fan or maybe you're up in Effingham area, a fan of Sacred Heart, we're glad to have you. And we have limited commercial interruption today thanks to our Malford and Culver's. Swing by Culver's and try a juicy butter burger or treat yourself to a frozen custard. Your Malford and Culver's at Veterans and 42nd here in Mount Vernon. It's great to be at Casey Middle School. I've actually been here a handful of times in my life, even though I've lived in Mount Vernon for 38 years, now 39. Uh, uh, so I went to Rome, obviously, out in the county. Not a District 80 product, but um, with what they've done with this gymnasium, of course, the, the school board had gotten that done. Um, About uh, three I, years ago. I believe it's the third season, we were told. I think 1920 was the first year in here in the planning. And, you know, Matt, Matt Reynolds, one of the school board members, had talked about it at the time and what he could say um, you know, talking to him before Rams game, seeing him at Shagnon, and and this thing came to fruition. Got to talk to Matt a moment ago. Actually, his son Pacey just coached the uh, Casey Junior 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 Rams, the JV edition. Of course, 35-22 went over Woodlawn a moment ago. And I think that was part of the idea to get people in here to see this new facility. I've never been here, and of course they're waiting at the door for us. Treat rolled out the red carpet. Anything we've needed have certainly been taken care of. Well, certainly the Pinkston Palace here on the campus of Casey Junior High. That's what I'll probably call it. It's Casey Middle School now since Hall is now a part of CMS. And uh, no longer the Yellow Jackets, just the Junior Rams all around. And it's 6 through 8 now. And, and here we are today. And, of course, Travis Pinkston put this together. Got a great lineup build. Of course, we'll run down the scores from a little bit earlier. The first game today, the Waterloo shouldn't go, shouldn't go mascots if I can't guarantee uh, if they match the high school. So we'll say Waterloo beat Benson 56 to 29. Westland was a 55-29 winner over Mount Carmel. And uh, Casey Junior High just knocked off Woodlawn JV 35-22 to as that was a JV contest preceding this one. Now, Casey and Woodlawn did meet in a varsity matchup at the Summersville shootout not long ago. And with the Woodlawn Warriors coming in 16-1, and that's their only losses. Yeah, and that was a 50-48 to game. I watched that game. Casey was up by 10 or 12 most of the game before Woodlawn made a late run to make it actually had the ball with a chance to tie or take the lead and turned it over. So, you know, Casey, they come in. We'll talk about them later on. They're 10-1 and one on the season themselves. Yeah, great matchups today. Of course, our second matchup will also have the Casey Junior Rams and the Harrisburg Junior Bulldogs. And you're talking about a very athletic Harrisburg team coming in, I believe, on the season there, 12-1. and one. And some think if, if the, the seeds, not the seeds, but if the, the pairings at state work out right, this could be the potential later for a state title game in Class L between the two teams. Bulldogs, of course, took the Class L baseball trophy. Woodlawn Warriors, conversely, took the Class S baseball trophy. So here we are. And you're going to see a lot of the same players that played on both teams for Woodlawn and Harrisburg. So, you know, success breeds success. And we've seen at the high school level, Mount Vernon with the football, I think, has bled over into basketball. It certainly does. Thanks again to Mount Vernon Culver's for limited commercial interruption. If you're looking for a fun, fast-paced, good-paying job, work for the Blue Crew family at Culver's in Mount Vernon. Go to Culver's.jobs and search for Mount Vernon and apply today. Speaking of limited commercial interruption, time to do that now. When we come back, we should have the starting lineups of this one. The Woodlawn Warriors, Sacred Heart Shamrocks, it's coming up. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. We're back in a bit. One more reason Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin. Hi, welcome to Culver's. Just take it from our team member, Sarah. When you order a Culver's Butter Burger, you're never just a customer. You're a guest in our home. See, where we come from, people do right by each other. It's why we cook each Butter Burger to order just for you. Right down to getting the perfect sear on the beef. It's delicious. That extra care may be a small town thing, but it's big time important to us. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. Welcome to Delicious. This is Carmen Huey Dykeman of Huey and Newell Funeral Homes. And this is Marty Mills. We know that the weeks between Thanksgiving and the New Year can be joyful but stressful. While these times are enjoyed with the warmth of your families, it can be very difficult for those that have experienced a loss. This is a time to reflect and remember the wonderful memories we have shared with our loved ones. And let us keep in our hearts and minds all the men and women who are currently serving in our military, especially those who are unable to be with family and friends this holiday season. May all our prayers and thoughts continue to be with them and their families. Are you looking to build? <laughs> Have you called Budget Building Supplies in Woodlawn? They offer quality steel building supplies at the best value. Made in the USA. They work with contractors and do-it-yourselfers. Budget Building Supplies has your steel building supplies for residential, commercial, and agricultural. Wait, that's everything. They offer metal roofing, siding, gutters, trim, and more. No job too big or too small. 
budget building supplies on Highway 15 in Woodlawn. Call 618-242-1123. Jefferson County Farm Bureau is proud to support area students and athletes. For over 100 years, they've been a voice for Illinois farmers, educational opportunities, and local students providing money and saving discounts at thousands of national brands and advocating for rural America in Springfield and Washington, D.C. By becoming a member, you're partnering to support local farmers and helping to ensure the success of one of the nation's largest and most vital industries. To join, visit jeffersoncfb.org or contact the Jefferson County Farm Bureau at 618-242-4510. The Mount Vernon Shootout from Casey Middle School. A special presentation from WMIX Sports. Back here at Casey Middle School, Chris Hugo, Hank Evans alongside AM 940, 96.5 FM, and of course, WMIX Sports YouTube channel this afternoon. And we don't have much left to do to break down this game between Woodlawn and Sacred Heart, but meet the two teams. All right, first four, Effingham, Sacred Heart. They are 8-2 and two on the season. They'll go with all eighth graders, be number 40, Jude Traub. Another eighth grader will be number 35, Jacob Warner. And number five will get to start William Hecht, along with number three, Dom Wilgos. And rounding out the lineup will be number 22, Nash Wernzing. The head coach at Effingham Sacred Heart is Trent Jansen. And for Woodlawn, the Warriors are 16-1, and and the head coach is Jeff Burkett. He's under the weather today, so Tony Kirkpatrick will take over the reins. They'll go with four eighth graders and a seventh grader. It'll be number 15, Trevor McClure. Number 24, Luke McKay. 33, Keaton Koch. Number 31, Tyson Frick. And the lone seventh grader in the starting lineup be number 20, Ian Bennett. Warriors are 16 and 1, champions of the Wayne City Tournament, the Rome Tournament, and <laughs> probably and they, many others along the way. And they've only really been tested three or four times this year. They're probably talking to some people, they haven't played great the last week or 10 days, so we'll see if uh, they come out strong today. Jump circle for the Warriors, it will be Tyson Frick. And for the Shamrocks, Jacob Warner here as we're about to get underway. Seven-minute quarters here this afternoon, as is the case often in junior high basketball, as we'll see this tip controlled by the home team. Trevor McClure in the front court already swings it to the back door. Easy pickings for Keaton Coke. Gets the Warriors on the board here early. One thing stands out, a huge size advantage for Woodlawn. And already stolen away. Coke up ahead. This will be to actually Frick. Just like that, the car, the <laughs> yeah, one three one half court trap by Woodlawn, another steal, another steal here for Frick. He'll dribble it out himself, easy layup four in the quarter, six in the game. Warriors six, Shamrocks nothing, and their Shamrocks are Hades bent on coming up that right side of the floor yeah, where they're gonna get trapped off by this Woodlawn press. They're gonna have to find the middle of the floor real quick, and I've got a feeling they haven't seen size like this all season long. This is WMIX Mount Vernon, W243 AV FM Mount Vernon, free services from Withers Broadcasting, live at Casey Middle School. Off the inbound, Hecht with it up top, looks to the right wing here for Traub. Out of the short corner here, we can't really see the baseline. Pretend we're at Salem as the Cardinals or Warriors will intercept. Into the front court will go McClure. Trevor to the basket off a ball fake, no good. Rebound put back up. Not there either by McKay, and this one will trickle out of bounds. It will stay with the blue-clad Warriors, though they're in their home whites. There we go. Going to do our best to see. Appreciate the hospitality. The inbound was to Frick. Missed the shot, got his own board. Rebound now will go to Hecht. See if he can drive into the front court here. 6.04 left in the first. He'll dribble off the right, pulls up, short corner. Throws underneath. That'll be stolen away by the Warriors. Woodlawn's McKay will go the other way. Looking on a back cut there for Frick. Can't connect, but it should stay. Warrior basketball with 5.54 left in the first quarter. You can see the score, scoreboard as well as the clock on the screen here. WMIX Sports YouTube channel. McKay into the corner off a ball screen. Three on the way. McClure no good. Rebound. Loose basketball picked up by Wilgus, and he'll throw up ahead to Hecht. Into the front door. 5.43 left in the first quarter. Appreciate the sponsorship today of Jefferson County Farm Bureau as this will be another turnover on the Shamrocks. 5.40 to play here in the first quarter. 6 nothing. your score. It's four early turnovers for this Effingham team. Agriculture is everywhere. We'll say more about that in a moment as this one will be Coke. Looking at McKay at the t- high post, trying to go to Frick down underneath, and it looks like that's going to be a Cardinal turnover. Pardon me. Warrior turnover. It's, 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 you do, it's you, tough. You do high school sports on the radio for 20 years, and yeah. you associate one mascot with one, one uh, community. Woodlawn going 1-3-1 one, one, half court. They're looking to trap the wings in the nice, corner. Nice kick save there by Coke. Agriculture is everywhere from fresh popcorn at the concession stand to the leather basketball on the court. Support farmers at jeffersoncfb.org or call 618-242-4510 and learn about membership benefits 
with the Jefferson County Farm Bureau. This will be a pull up by Traub from the free throw line, knocks it down, and just like that, the Shamrocks on the board trailing 6-2, 5-10 left in the first. McClure looks to the back door for Frick, up, yes, good. Frick off block, and now we'll go to the free throw line for the three-point play, and that was a good find for Trevor McClure. And Woodlawn, they, they just get up and down the floor so quickly. 5.06 remains in the opening quarter, 8-2 your score. Limited commercial interruption today by Malford and Culver's. We appreciate them as the free throw from Frick looked off the mark just short. Rebound, McKay. Luke will dribble in. Nope. Shot was blocked. Put it back up. Blocked again out of bounds. It'll be Woodlawn basketball. McClure, Frick, McKay, Coke, and I believe Bennett for the Warriors. Trevor, backdoor bounce pass in. Frick, yes. It's the Frick show, baby. Frick's just a head taller than anybody on this Shamrock squad. 10-2 score, and here come the Shamrocks. This will be hacked. Looking to the back side, and jumper on the way is going to be no good by Traub. Rebound to Frick up ahead, looking for McKay. It'll plinko around, picked up now by Wernsing. Wernsing, rather. We're not in Clinton County. As Traub will try a three, it's good. He has five, and that's a big tray there. It's a 10-5 score with 4.32 left in the first quarter. Much needed three-pointer by Jude Traub. Coke with it off of the left wing, looks for McClure. Trevor will have it left of the Ram insignia at the center circle. It's Saker Hearts in a 2-3 zone. Left-hand dribble briefly for Bennett. Back to McClure, now to the high post, flashing for Frick to the outside. Bennett tries a three, it's short. Rebound will go to Traub. Baseball throw into the front court, overthrown for Hecht. They don't have a football program in the fall, so that'll be a turnover on the Shamrocks. It'll go with the Warriors here. 4 6 we're about three minutes into the first. McClure will bring it up the floor. No more we talk about him being little brother during Ram broadcast. I do see big brother here. Only fair that we give him a couple of shouts. Says underneath, this will be a nice play. Looking for McKay, can't finish. Rebound, stolen away by Frick. And he'll put a left-hand layup up and in. Ten in the quarter. It's 12 to five, Warriors, 345 mark of the first. Warner into the front court, dropping it off here for Wilgus and stolen away by Frick. It's the Frick show right now. Say, it? It's Tyson he, Frick's world. We're living in it right now. Underneath McKay, up, no. Rebound McKay, puts it back up, no. Frick this time had it tossed away. Loose basketball is going to be recovered by Trop. Racing into the front court off the right block. Trop to the back door. Heck, up, no, yes. Looks like that one's going to fall back off the front of the iron. The iron caught it, brought it back down. Woodlawn playing quickly into the front court. What else is new? It's Frick will have it at the mid post. Lost. McKay fights for it for a jump ball, and looks like the possession arrow will favor the Shamrocks. Just like that, we have a timeout. Well, I'll tell you what. I know Tony Kirkpatrick was a little nervous before the game, but he's doing just fine. I think he's doing just fine. If Jeff Burkett's sitting at home, hopefully feeling better. Uh, you're in good hands with Tony running the show. Appreciate Tony for getting us a ton of information. Here's how this pipeline works. Gosh, he's not special anymore. D.C., Danny Zerwinski is now a, a classroom teacher, and, of course, I reached out to him, longtime broadcast partner of mine, still does games for us for the Benton Rangers on Q106. This time out, meanwhile, presented by Budget Building Supplies. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, he reached out to Coach Burkett. Coach Burkett handed it off to Tony, and he got us the information, and we have plenty and all we need to know about the Woodlawn Warriors. We appreciate the entire pipeline start to finish. And I'm living in a charmed world. People are so helpful that doesn't make the air, you know. Anybody, they'll, they'll help you, tell you anything you need to know. And that's coaches, parents. Well, they didn't, allow, they didn't make us be do-it-yourselfers. But if you are a contractor or do-it-yourselfer, budget building supplies on Highway 15 and Woodlawn is a call you need to make. 618-242-1123. How about that transition into a live oh, read? Oh, Tyson Frick with 10 points already in the first quarter. Woodlawn quite a bit bigger than this Effingham Sacred Heart team. 3.04 left in the opening quarter. It is 12-7. Woodlawn on top. Sacred Heart with the basketball in the front court. They're away green with white trim. Almost stolen away. It is by Koch into the front court. There goes Keaton. Left-hand layup off the block is no good. Rebound underneath to Traub. There are two Traubs, if I remember right. This is Jude. Nope, they're, they weren't numerical order. That's why I'm confusing myself when I wrote them down in my book yeah. in numerical order as the Shamrocks will turn it over. And that's the eighth turnover already for Effingham. Five-point game, 12-7, 242 left in the first quarter. Junior high matchup today on WMIX AM 940, 96.5 FM, where you're watching the video 
WMIX Sports YouTube channel. There will be a new link, new video for the next game, by the way. As McClure out of the corner, scoreless so far, looking to change that. Puts it back up, got his own rebound up and in. So Trevor gets on the board here, 14 to 7. Of course, where's number 15? Don't know why it was so hard to find in my book. Family number. And now Trevor will get the steals. Took it away from Wilkes and into the front court. Left hand, he'll go to the hoop. Up, good. 16-7, Warriors, nine-point lead. Two minutes left in the opening quarter. Chris Hugo, Hank Evans alongside. Jeff Crow taking care of the camera. Alan Ross back at the studio. Trav, shot fakes, tipped by Frick. Into the front court will go McClure. Up the right side now, right block. Goes right hand strong, misses. But he's fouled into the line to shoot a couple. We'll go Trevor McClure. And Woodlawn is just deadly in transition. We'll see if he's as money at the line as his big brother. If I was talking to him to his face, I would tell him he's not. He would talk right back to you, I <laughs> yes, suspect. <laughs> at the line, first one, no, oh, no good. May have jinxed him. Today's all about having fun, and that's exactly what we're doing at Casey Middle School. We appreciate the hospitality from start to finish. We had, you know, had just nothing but information and assistance ever since we got here, and we certainly appreciate it. As the second free throw for Trevor they is They told good. us free food, and they knew we'd be there on that account. 17-7 score, the minute 42 left. Trob three would be a big one. It's good. He knocks it down, makes it look easy. Cuts it to seven, 17-10, second three of the, the quarter. The one guy Woodlawn's going to have to key on. Good ball move here off the dribble for good McClure. Pass. Back door, that is McKay, and he gets on the board. That's an assist, Trevor McClure. Good look, unselfish basketball. Four of the five starters in the scoring column now for the Warriors with a minute 20 left in the first. Trob with it up top, looking to the left side, finds Hacked out of the corner. He'll dribble drive with a right hand. Mid-post jumper is no good. Rebound will be tipped. It's McClure tipping to the left side. Comes up with a loose basketball with a minute 10 left. Across the timeline, Bennett trying to get on the board. No, he'll be unselfish. Go to McKay. I'm not sure if he got the shot off. Either way, it's tipped out of bounds. Stays with the Warriors. Boy, Woodlawn, when they get that rebound, they are they are off to the races. Didn't know I could do a game without 60 live reads, did you? Mc we can fill plenty of time if we need to. Bennett off of the right wing to the top. They lob into Frick. He'll drive basket. Shot's no good. That's a rare miss, and the rebound will trickle out of bounds. It'll go to Sacred Heart. I like that move by Tyson Frick. Who checked in a moment ago? Beckett? Yep. Oh, there he is. Brigham Beckett. 55 seconds left in the first for the car for the Warriors. Bennett, McKay, Beckett, Frick, and McClure. Traub with the basketball right now, looking to hand off to Wernsey, and instead takes the three shot, no good. And then McClure will run into Wernsey. Pardon me, that wasn't Wernsey, that was not on my roster. There's a 25 not on my roster here for the Shamrocks. We love that when that happens. All good. As the inbound was tipped by Frick, McClure recovered, and now the Cardinals will lose that of bounds. So 37.4 seconds left here in the first quarter. 19-10 is your lead. As the Warriors lead Sacred Heart, and it's Traub with the basketball up top. A right hand dribble looking to go to the far side. Instead pulls up for three, no good. McClure another rebound. Flying V into the front court. Warriors up the right side. Easy layup. Luke McKay, he has four points on the day. It's 21-10. That's another transition basket. Woodlawn, when they get that rebound, it's just off to the races. 15 seconds left. Trop, good head fake as he'll drive left. Goes short corner. Baseline jumper is no good. Rebound will go to Bennett. So Ian Bennett, the rebound, into the front court. Lost it, but recovered by Frick at the top of the key. Has McClure trailing. Into the front court. Jump stop. Oh, backdoor play. Left-hand layup for McKay at the buzzer. The thing of beauty. Good jump stop by Trevor to set it up with... McKay, he has six in the quarter, and now we go to the end of the first. After one, Woodlawn 23, Sacred Heart 10. This is the Junior High Special on WMIX. We're back after these. Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin. Just ask our team member, Marcus. Let's just say you can take the restaurants out of America's Dairyland, but you can't take America's Dairyland out of the restaurants. Like the real Wisconsin cheese on our juicy butter burgers. The farm fresh dairy in our fresh frozen custard. Even our crispy golden Wisconsin cheese curds. It may sound cheesy. <laughs> cheesy. 
but we love where we come from at Culver's. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. Welcome to Delicious. This is Carmen Huey Dykeman of Huey and Newell Funeral Homes. And this is Marty Mills. We know that the weeks between Thanksgiving and the New Year can be joyful but stressful. While these times are enjoyed with the warmth of your families, it can be very difficult for those that have experienced a loss. This is a time to reflect and remember the wonderful memories we have shared with our loved ones. And let us keep in our hearts and minds all the men and women who are currently serving in our military, especially those who are unable to be with family and friends this holiday season. May all our prayers and thoughts continue to be with them and their families. You're listening to the Mount Vernon Shootout from Casey Middle School. Now back to the broadcast booth. We are back here from Casey Middle School, just off of Highway 15 in the King City. Woodlawn with the basketball to start the second. They lead 23-10 over Sacred Heart. Shively will go to the left wing for McClure. McClure, Beckett, Shively, Coke, and Frick for the Warriors. Coke off of the right wing into the corner for Beckett. Now underneath for Frick with 10 in the first. Now makes it 12 for the game. Little post up, right block, interior. 25-10, Woodlawn with 6.33 left in the second quarter. And now to be hacked across the timeline right of the circle. Looking for Traub. McClure tries to save the loose basketball. Effort. Great floor burn there. It'll stay with Sacred Heart. Woodlawn's just got too much size for this team, looks like to me. The 10 first quarter turnovers didn't help. Hecht at the circle now looks to the left wing here for Wilgus. Well, if Traub launches a three, why not? Square so far, and he's made his third. It is an 11-point day. He is 11 of 13 for the Shamrocks. That's the one guy Woodlawn can't lose. No sham that time for the Shamrocks. Beckett at the circle to the right wing for Coke. Has Frick high post. Right block is McClure. Goes to Beckett between the circles, trying to swing it to the left side for Shively. Left-hand dribble. Skip pass now to the right side for Coke. Looking to go baseline. Pulls up from 12. Mid-range, no good. Frick the rebound. Puts it up. Yes, sir. 14 for Tyson Frick. 27-13. It'd be tied without Frick. Right of the circle for the Shamrocks is number 35, Warner. Looking to the left for Hecht. 5.30 left in the first half. Seven-minute quarters, keep in mind, so we'll move briskly today. And now almost a kick basketball. They go to Warner underneath, miss a shot. McClure the rebound. It's going to have it stolen away. Warner shot up good. Warner created the turnover there, gets his first points of the night, and it's 27-15 with 5.13 to go. Back it off of the right wing to Coke. Swinging it around to Shively off the left. 5.06 mark of the second quarter, 27-15 Warriors. Back at the lob. Not sure where it was going, but it ends up at the back door with Traub into the front court. Turnover Warriors. Having a hard time not calling Sacred Heart the Warriors because they're in that uh, the uh, Patoka Green. Left side three on the way from Heck to no good. Rebound will go easily to Shively, who leaves it for McClure. Trevor will do the rest across the timeline, dribbling to the high post. Ouch. He was going to the basket. He's brought down hard. Hard enough that it caused con for concern of everybody in the yeah, crowd. Yeah, he got, uh, got the old clothesline, but he looks to be all right. Fewer more hard-headed than Trevor McClure, and now that he appears to be okay, we feel comfortable making that comment. With 4.39 left in this second quarter. I would say at the junior high, 13, 14-year-old, he's the best baseball player I saw all summer, and I did a lot of games. Underachieved in the uh, state title game with only 12 strikeouts, but we'll let that go. No, really, in he, all serious, 12 strikeouts. He gave up three runs all year, I know phenomenal that. Phenomenal effort as the free throw is good. Get seven or eight home runs. And these are over the fence, 350 feet shots, 14 years old. I know they're looking forward to having him at Mount Vernon Township High School next year. Actually, a pretty good eighth grade class all across Jefferson County, yes, boys and girls. certainly. Second free throw, no good. It was rebounded by Coke, had it tapped away. Somehow recovers. Thought that might have gone out of bounds. Either way, it was going to be Shamrock basketball as they recover. Traub into the front court now for the Shamrocks. 4.29 left to go. Second quarter, 28-15. Your score would on by 13. We'll have the Huey Funeral Home halftime show coming up. That's just a loose basketball. Beckett was able to pick it up on the missed dribble. Goes into the front court with a left hand. Now throwing across the way for Shively. Looking for the slide pass, high post. It'll be McKay back into the game. Throwing outside to McClure. Dribbles into a free throw line jumper off the ball fake, and it's good. Kind iron. 
eight in the game for McClure. Public address announcer Rob Wilt agrees. I believe he said the same thing I did. Traub with it right of the circle, dribbling toward the sideline, looking to come up and under. Can't quite get there. Had it tipped out of bounds. Looks like it stays with the Shamrocks. It's kind of like a Salem-type environment for us, which we're on an overhang. Can't see the full baseline at times, and our camera angle's fine. We just lose some of the floor. But um, we appreciate the hospitality. 30-15 to 15 game here in game number one. We have Harrisburg and Casey Jr. High next. That's a three on the way. That is no good by Dagan Mooney. And now to the other way goes Shively and the Warriors. Crossover dribble goes left block. Layup's no good, but Shively will go to the line to shoot a couple. When Woodlawn gets the rebound, I know I've said it over and over, they, they're just gone. I think if you're playing Woodlawn, you just almost can't send anybody to the offensive glass. You just got to get everybody back on defense. It's never too cold for a frozen custard in Shermanford and Culver's. Today's flavor of the day is turtle. A Culver's Classic. We begin with creamy vanilla, fresh frozen custard, and swirl in ribbons of old-fashioned salted caramel, or caramel if you prefer. Novelty chocolate and toasted pecan pieces. Sounds amazing. It's from Alfred and Culver's. Presenting today's game with limited commercial interruption. First free throw was good. Second one was not. And making one of two that time, Shively. It's 31-15. Rebound, Shamrocks. It's Traub into the front court off of the right. Looking to the high post. Warner will kick short corner. Jumper on the way. Rattles off from Wilgus. Rebound to McKay and the Warriors into the front court. They had a three-on-one on one, on one corner of the floor, and now they spread out. And it'll be in the middle here to Jackson. Looks to the outside. Three on the way for Beckett is no good. Rebound will be tapped. Probably could have been a foul, but Traub will come up with a rebound off of the tip. 3.04 left, second quarter, 31-15. That is our score right now. As Traub's able to go down the middle, it's off the backboard and no good. Trying to take advantage of Frick out of the game. Here are the Shamrocks trying to attack middle of the post right now with that high disadvantage gone. It looks like Warner was fouled that last trip to the basket. and be the second foul on Keaton Cook. That'll be two free throws coming here for the Shamrocks of Sacred Heart. First yeah. one's good by Jacob Warner. He'll have another. And just as you say it, Tyson Frick checking back in with his 14 points. Jeff Burkett under the weather today. Hope he feels better, but Tony Kirkpatrick has stepped in. Athletic director at WGS. Now going the other way. McKay will throw into the corner. Shively will skip a pass back to the outside. A three on the way for Jackson. Nope, feet were on the line. Didn't go anyway. Gets his own rebound. Shots blocked by Warner. Rebound will trickle off of the baseline. I thought somebody stepped out at some point, whether it had been the Shamrocks or the Warriors. And now, I asked Tony before the game if he happens to lose this game. He said he would not get credit. Jeff Burkett would get credit for the loss. That's I've had that we were joking. Oh, okay. That was joking, jokingly. Well, that's kind of like how Quinn McClure is the winningest coach in Malford and Township High School boys history. He quit while he was ahead, didn't 2-0. he? 2-0. That's pretty good. 2.27 left in the first half. 31-16 the score here. 15-point game. Of course, Quinn the father of Trevor. And now a shot in the middle, no good there for the Shamrocks. Blocked by Woodlawn out of my vision. And now it'll be McKay going the other way. He went right hand originally and was trying to switch left. And as he did, he was fouled. That's why the shot went up so high and awkwardly. And now to the free throw line to shoot two will go Luke McKay. And Luke McKay's older brother will be taking the floor at Ren Lake College today. He's one of the starting guards for the Warriors. A heck of a player in his own right. A lot of familiar names here on both of these teams, I'm sure. As McKay makes the first, he'll have another. Malvern and Harrisburg following us here. That'll be our second game of the day. Of course, we have our Huey Funeral Home Halftime Show before we get to any of that. That's coming up at the break. No good on the second. Rebound, Frick to McClure. Now to the left side, Jackson. He'll pull up from 17. It's short. Rebound will go to Mooney. And the Shamrocks will slow down a little bit in the backcourt. Now they'll transition into the front with 2.02 to play in the half. Mooney, Traub rather. Mooney was underneath. Traub will drain the three from the wing. Nice looking player, ain't he? Yeah. Jude Traub. 32 19 score, minute 48 left in the first half. McClure across the timeline on that maroon and gold ram head. Never, I've never understood why that's not an orange and black ram head, but I said I wouldn't talk about it today. McGay off of the pass, going to come baseline. Shot was blocked by the backboard. And he'll get his own rebound, put it up, and in. Nine in the game, Luke McKay, 34 19. That Woodlawn spread back to 15 with a minute 24 left in the first half. Traub will pop for another three on the way. It's long. Rebound will go to McClure. Trevor with it in the backcourt. Races into the frontcourt up the right side. Right-hand dribble. Looking for the backdoor play on the cut. 
by Frick. It'll be tipped out of bounds. Good job by the Shamrocks to get the hand. They're the doing a better line. job of getting back on defense this second quarter. Minute 13 left. No looker into Frick. Up, good foul. 16, looking for 17. I don't now. have sizes on the roster, but I'm guessing Frick's probably 6'2", and then the, even the guards for Woodlawn are 5'11", 6 foot. So a minute 11 left here in this second quarter. 36-19 our score. As Frick is at the line, and that's good. 37-19, the Woodlawn lead 18, their largest lead of the afternoon as Traub is into the front court here for the Shamrocks. Left hander will come to the near wing, looking to go underneath now. Good curl there, high off glass, no good. Guess who, Frick with the rebound. This Frick, he's way better than his dad ever was, I can tell you that. <laughs> McClure, oh, missed a layup short. But the rebound and putback not there either by McKay. Surprised that uh, McClure missed that one. Yeah. It's 12 offensive rebounds for Woodlawn as their size advantage is significant. First free throw, no good by McKay. He'll have another. 37-19 if you just tuned in. If you're on the, the web with us, sorry, we did not change the score, the quarter on the scoreboard. Our apologies. 50 seconds left in the quarter. McClure off of the rebound on the miss. Off balance shot, no good. Frick thought he had the rebound, but lost it. It was picked up by Mooney, and that'll be Traub to bring it across the timeline. 40 seconds left. Right hand dribble between the circles here. 37-19 Warriors. Sacred Heart with it. Mooney up top. Wants to go back left for Traub. Contested shots who will go underneath to Warner. He's fouled from behind by McClure. And two coming at the line here for Jacob Warner, who has three. Good job by Effingham finding the hole in the zone. Thanks again to our Mount Vernon Culver's for limited commercial interruption. Swing by Culver's and try a juicy butter burger or treat yourself to a frozen custard. Your Mount Vernon Culver's veterans in 42nd. First free throw, no good. Rattled off the iron. We'll have another one here with 26.3 seconds left in the half. Second free throw is good, so makes one of two. Cardinals are racing the front court. That's McClure. Down 17 are the Shamrocks. Jackson, foot on the line, shot no good. McClure, the backdoor rebound, puts it up and in. Five in the quarter, 10 on the day. 39-20 your score with 11 seconds left in the quarter. Traub was racing. Looks like he might have been fouled. Fell hard. I think that's going to be on McKay. Yeah. I believe that's just the fourth on the Warriors. The first foul on Luke McKay. Thought Cardinals said Warriors. Proud of myself. As Traub will stop at the free throw line. High post shot. Unkind iron that time. Warner the rebound. Puts it back up. No good. Frick fighting for the rebound as time expires. Probably could argue to foul there, but it won't matter. We'll go to halftime here at Casey Middle School. Where right now it is the Woodlawn Warriors 39. The Sacred Heart Shamrocks 20. We'll come back with your Huey Funeral Home halftime show. This is Woodlawn Warriors basketball from WMIX Sports and on YouTube. We're back after this. Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin. Hi, welcome to Culver's. Just ask our team member, Sarah. When you order a Culver's Butter Burger, you're never just a customer. You're a guest in our home. See, where we come from, people do right by each other. It's why we cook each Butter Burger to order just for you, right down to getting the perfect sear on the beef. That extra care may be a small town thing, but it's big time important to us. Come on in and let us serve you with a smile that stretches from our hometown to yours. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. Welcome to Delicious. This is Carmen Huey Dykeman of Huey and Newell Funeral Homes. And this is Marty Mills. We know that the weeks between Thanksgiving and the New Year can be joyful but stressful. While these times are enjoyed with the warmth of your families, it can be very difficult for those that have experienced a loss. This is a time to reflect and remember the wonderful memories we have shared with our loved ones. And let us keep in our hearts and minds all the men and women who are currently serving in our military, especially those who are unable to be with family and friends this holiday season. May all our prayers and thoughts continue to be with them and their families. You can watch this game live from the Mount Vernon Shootout at WMIXSports.com. Made possible in part by Culver's of Mount Vernon. And we're back at Casey Junior High where the Woodlawn Warriors lead 30 to 20, 39 to 20, pardon me, over the Sacred Heart Shamrocks here at the half of the Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon shootout hosted by Casey Middle School. The bright idea of Casey Junior Rams head coach Travis Pinkston did all the hard work, did all the lineup matching up. Tried to make some adjustments where he thought there might be some, some weaknesses and uh, rebuffed, and here we are. 
a decent lineup today. Of course, there's the spreads haven't been as kind in some cases, but I know there was some wanting to restructure and um, again, met with a little bit of rebuffage and right now a 19 point game here at the half of our first game of the day. And it's certainly Woodlawn is able to use their size advantage to just get anything they want at the rim. And Tyson Frick using his long arms, several offensive rebounds and what a half he had. Without a doubt. We'll have scoring and stats coming up on this Huey Funeral Home Halftime Show. But first, we should tell you that when someone you love becomes a memory, that memory becomes a treasure. These are words held close to the hearts of those at Huey Funeral Home. So if your family has questions about their services, please call 618-242-3348 or visit HueyFH.com for Huey Funeral Home sponsoring our halftime show here this afternoon. At the half, Woodlawn Warriors 39. Sacred Heart Shamrocks 20. We'll take a quick break, come back, get you those scoring and stats. This is the Holiday Hoop Shootout, hosted by Mount Vernon at Casey Middle School. We're back after this. Are you looking to build? <laughs> Have you called Budget Building Supplies in Woodlawn? They offer quality steel building supplies at the best value. Made in the USA, they work with contractors and do-it-yourselfers. Budget Building Supplies has your steel building supplies for residential, commercial, and agricultural. Wait, that's everything. They offer metal roofing, siding, gutters, trim, and more. No job too big or too small. Budget Building Supplies on Highway 15 in Woodlawn. Call 618-242-1123. Agriculture is everywhere. From fresh popcorn at the concession stand to the leather basketball on the court. Did you know 97% of farms in Jefferson County are family-owned? Local farmers and families right here in our hometown who provide food, fuel, and fiber to all. Jefferson County Farm Bureau is proud to support local farmers who provide us with safe and nutritious food and materials we use every day. Learn more about where your food comes from and how we support local farmers farmers at jeffersoncfb.org or call 618-242-4510. This special presentation of the Mount Vernon Shootout with limited commercial interruptions made possible by Culver's of Mount Vernon. Back at the Pinkston Palace at Casey Middle School where the Mount, no, nope, Mount Vernon Rams was last night, Henry, where yeah. the Woodlawn Warriors lead Sacred Heart 39-20 to 20 your score. And so right now, a 19-point game here at the break. Sacred Heart, of course, the 1A runners-up last year in seventh grade in the IESA state finals, and the Woodlawn, a perennial threat to get to the state finals. Typically, year after year, many think that they'll get there maybe to the top game this year, and it's a 19-point game at the half. And you got a Woodlawn team that's been together. This group's played together a long time, and they're just their size is just overwhelming. But uh, first half stats for Effingham Sacred Heart. They shot 3 of 14 from two-point range, 4 of 8 from three, it's 7 of 22 from the field, 32%. They went to the line four times, making two. Woodlawn out-rebounded Effingham 25 to 10, with, along with uh, 13 offensive rebounds. Turnovers, Sacred Heart had 11 turnovers, to only seven for Woodlawn. Three guys in the scoring column for Sacred Heart Shamrocks. It was William Hecht with two, Jacob Warner with four, and that leaves 14 points, and that was Jude Traub as he had four three-pointers and a two. For the Woodlawn Warriors, they were 17 of 36 from two-point range. They missed all three of their three-pointers. 17 of 39 shooting, 44%. Struggled a little bit at the line as they were 5 of 11. It was Graydon Shively with one. Keaton, Keaton Coke with two. Luke McKay had nine. Trevor McClure had ten. Then leading the way with a monster first half, doing all the damage on the inside. It was Tyson Frick with 17 first half points. Woodlawn jumped out to a 23-10 lead after one, and much the same in the second quarter. Our halftime score is the Woodlawn Warriors 39, the Effingham Sacred Heart Shamrocks 20. We'll take a quick break on our Huey Funeral Home halftime show. When we come back, we'll get you set for the second half of this one. Woodlawn Warriors, Sacred Heart Shamrock. Stay with us on AM 940, 96.5 FM. This is Junior High Basketball. We're back after this. Never had a Culver's Butter Burger? Here are the three things you'll want to remember. Fresh, never frozen beef. Seared after you order. Crowned with a lightly buttered toasted bun. I guess that's why the number one reaction to eating a Culver's Butter Burger is, whoa, that is some burger. Welcome to Delicious. And your new favorite are seared after you order Culver's Butter Burger. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. Are you ready for your team to get their license? I'm Country Financial Representative Josh Finley. 
I know it's a little scary when you see your kids backing out of the driveway by themselves for the first time, but knowing that your young driver has the proper protection from Country Financial could make you feel better. Call today, 242-4024, or visit me online at josh.finley at countryfinancial.com. The Mount Vernon Shootout from Casey Middle School. A special presentation from WMIX Sports. Back here in the King City at the Pinkston Palace on the campus of Casey Middle School where the Woodlawn Warriors lead 39-20 to over the Sacred Heart Shamrocks. I'm Chris Hugo, Hank Evans alongside, and Henry for the Warriors, obviously up 19 here at the break. Keep that foot on the gas pedal, you're going to win this game. And, yeah, and they can basically just shoot till they make it. Is there a head taller, it seems like, at every position, and they're – destroying this Effingham team on the offensive glass. This is game one of two today as we wrap up your Huey Funeral Home Halftime Show. We'll have Mount Vernon and Harrisburg coming up in a big Class L battle, so you'll want to stay tuned for that. We might have some Christmas music here on AM 940 in between, uh, depending upon what time this one is over. At Huey, Hue at Huey Funeral Home, they believe in the dignity of the funeral service, full support for families during their time of need, and the very best in personal service. 618-242-3348 or visit HueyFH.com. 39-20 the score as we're about to start the third quarter here from Casey Middle School. 19-point game. That'll be hecked with the basketball to start for the Shamrocks. Get the ball screen to the top, launches a three, it's good. Good way to start for the Shamrocks. Even the real rocks. Up the right side will come the Warriors. This is Bennett from the baseline, no good. Was looking for his first points of the night. Rebound Warner, baseball toss ahead to Hecht. Layup is no good. Missed a bunny and going the other way here will be McClure. They counted that at two, I think. My apologies. Is that Will Ghost on the two? Is that who you I had? I thought it was Hecht. Okay. And now we'll have a foul as Woodlaw is going to the hole into the free throw line. Will go Trevor McClure for his effort. Third quarter action, 6.29 left, which means we're 31 seconds into this third quarter. Seven-minute quarters here. 40-22, the lead back to 18 as McClure knocks down the first, and the second's no problem. We want to bet he'll shoot better on this end with the media mm -hmm. coverage. <laughs> 6.27 left, third quarter, 41-22. The score hacked off a of, was trying to get the ball screen. Not much there. Right hand dribble somehow maintaining. Five-second count on. Tries to go back door. It's intercepted by Bennett. Into the front court. Good left-handed toss. McKay in stride going for the layup right block. He's fouled into the free throw line to shoot a couple. Will go. Luke McKay. Nope. No shot. Just an inbound. That's why you don't officiate from up here. Off the screen, McClure will look underneath for Frick. He'll put it up. No good. Rebound underneath. Fought for McKay. Will tip it. And coming up with it is number 22, Noah nash Wernsey. But stolen away. McClure to the basket and one. Mm -hmm. 14 in the game from McClure, going to the line, looking for 15. Lead now 21 for the Warriors with 5.58 left in the third quarter. Chilly day outside, warm day in here. Woodlawn is as advertised, I think it's fair to say. It's the first, second time I've seen them in person. They're awful good. McClure knocks down the free throw. 44-22, Warriors doubling up the Shamrocks here. Hacked into the front court here for the Shamrocks, looking to Wilgus. Gets a screen from Wernsey, and now they throw right. Back to Heck for a three. Nope. Rebound McClure. Who else? Lobs ahead. <laughs> to Look at that transition. Look that at that. I mean, great transition. Just... He had Bennett and, and uh, who ended up getting it, Coke? I think Bennett. Bennett. No, Bennett. It went past Bennett. Uh, 46-22 the score regardless. Coke's getting that one in my book. There we go. In the paint, not much there for the Shamrocks. Almost threw it away. Warner was able to get it back from Wernsey, and then it'll be tipped away again by Coke. Good steal. Leaves it for McClure, 5-10. Hands were sweaty, couldn't hang on to it, and now Heck off the turnover will go right for the layup. He has four in the quarter, and it is 46-24. Coke into the front court now for these Woodlawn Warriors. 
Good ball fake. Bennett goes to the near side now for McClure. He's looking underneath. McKay, no. Put back coming, no good. Rebound will trickle out of bounds to the baseline, out of our range. And it will be Woodlawn, Woodlawn basketball. basketball. Looks like McClure will inbound. Be a bounce to the top. Bennett will pick it up, and he'll hand off to the outside here for Coke. Races to the free throw line. Cross-court pass to McClure. Three on the way. Good. Knocks down the triple. Big three ball with 434 left. What on earth? 49-24 score, 25-point game. <laughs> right side. Werns in with the basketball and a right-hand dribble. 416 left, third quarter. All the action today is presented by Malvern and Culverts. Limited commercial interruption thanks to them. To the outside, three is going to be off the back of the iron. Rebound and underneath will be taken by the Warriors. In transition up the left side will go McClure. Missed it, but put back is good by Frick. There's that Frick again, cleaning up the offensive glass. Frick and Frack are Frick and McClure right now. 3.50 left, third quarter. Then you put Tyson Frick on top of this 1-3-1. That's long arms, hard to pass around that. For over 100 years, the Jefferson County Farm Bureau has been a voice for Illinois farmers in Springfield and Washington, D.C. Join and take advantage of the thousands of benefits of being a Farm Bureau member. Visit jeffersoncfb.org. Nice play into the paint to Warner. His layup's good. He's able to split the defender and get to the bucket. And now Woodlawn will come the other way quickly, fouled, and they'll go to the line. They just I say it over and over. They get up and down the floor so quickly. If a team's going to beat them somehow, which is easier said than done, has to take that away. It's 51-26 at the moment. And it'll be Frick to the line to shoot a pair. Makes the first, he'll have another. Warriors doubling up the Shamrocks again, this time 52-26. As this spread just continues to, well, spread. Second one's good. 53-26, 27-point game with 3.26 left, third quarter. Looks like 1-2-2 two, two maybe by Woodlawn. Traub on the outside for the three. It's going to be more of a rainbow, and it goes down. 53-29, Woodlawn quickly. That'll be short from McKay, put back by Frick. Yes. But e even after made baskets, Woodlawn's able to get down the floor. Make it 55-29, back to a... 26-point game, and we'll have a foul by McKay up the right side, just number two on him. I got Frick with 23 points. Yep. Pretty big night. Uh-oh, that's going to be through the five hole into the back court. Nope, foot was still in the back. Foot was still in the front court when we went into the back court. No over and back. I'm guessing. Traub off of the wing, left side. Looks for Wilgus, instead goes to Warner. Off the block, yeah. shot's going to be swatted away by Frick. Then stolen away by Shively. Then stolen away by Warner. So turnover begets turnover into the basket. McClure will block the shot of Warner. Trevor into the front court here through traffic like Jerry West, and now will throw one off the back of the iron. They'll call the travel. Jerry West. He was, hey, I mean, that, there was for a brief moment where I thought I was watching the NBA logo as the Woodlawn Warriors won a timeout. You're on your game. Would you not concur? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even old enough to have seen Jerry yeah. West, but there we go. Yeah. Timeout presented by Budget Building Supplies, the best service and pricing in the industry for contractors or those do-it-yourselfers. It's Budget Building Supplies in Woodlawn. Highway 15 or call 618-242-1123. Here in this timeout, there's a full timeout. 55-29 year score. We're in the third quarter here at Casey Middle School. Let's put on our coaching hat with our combined zero career wins. How would you play against Woodlawn? I won it. I'd take another I, I'd have to. you you, you got to slow the game down for sure. you got to try to make it a half-court game, which is easier said than done. I think that's the bigger thing is you have to slow them down. And you you almost can't send anybody the offensive glass. Just when that shot goes up, you got to have all your guys sprinting back on defense. And I think one of the bigger things is you also just have to – Somehow get around the height disadvantage. And, yeah, if you don't have somebody and to counter. With all that being said, then you got to rebound it. Right. And it's they're just they're tough. And they like to reach. Yeah. And so if you're not 
comfortable with hands all over the place and nearby. You're I mean, like this zone right now, there's a lot of arms out there. Absolutely. Drop three, no good out of the timeout. Rebound recovered by Wilgus. They look to the outside, off balance three on the way. Is going to hit the backboard support from Heck. I think he was shocked at how off the mark it was. I, I was too, because at the angle I was watching, I was like, oh, this has a chance. And then it's like, that wasn't really close. Good effort, though, out of the timeout. And now it'll be McClure to the outside, leaving for Shively. Looks to the left for Coke. He'll have to come out to get it. Dribbles in. And now sets a screen for McKay. Three. It's no good. Rebound underneath okay. for, yes, sir, Frick. Throws to the top for Shively. Now to Coke with 2.08 left in the third. 55 29 Woodlawn. Wide open McClure. He'll dribble in. No look. Bounce pass. I don't think Frick was ready for it. And that's Frick's first mistake of the day. Yep, first one. Can't be perfect, Tyson. Yeah. So with a minute 20, how about a minute 57 left here in the third? 55-29 the score. That spread has stopped spreading at the moment. Must put some ointment on it. As we'll see if they count this shot. Foul was on. Shively. As the Stamrocks tried to go baseline, Warner, and now they will inbound. So he was not in the act of shooting. What we got? We got Beckett. I see Coke, I see McKay, I see McClure. And I believe that's Downs. Yeah, there we his go. first. He looked good in the JV game. Minute 49 left in the third, 55-29 here. Traub will take the three. It's short. Rebound underneath. Slips out of bounds from Warner. Good effort there by that young man. And now the inbound length of the floor will belong to the Woodlawn Warriors with a minute 42 left in the third. McClure across the timeline, looking to the left side for Coke. Back to McClure, minute 32 left. Now to Coke off of the arc. Right hand dribble. No looker underneath. Of course it works. Too easy. To McKay, off the block. 57-29, the lead is 28 with a minute 15 left in the third. Three on the way, hecked is no good. Rebound will be tipped from McKay, recovered by Wilgus. Traub open off of the right wing, doesn't want it. Lobs to Heck. Free throw line jumper is in route. It is short. Rebound to McClure. He'll lob ahead in transition. Downs right block layup is good. Nice. What a find. And it's 59-29 with 50 seconds left. I think this Woodlawn team is going to be pretty good next year as well with Bennett and Downs. And now Traub going to the basket. His shot no good. I could use some free throws here to show that replay. We do have that capability, Henry. I don't know why I've not been hitting the yeah. button. And now we'll get a break on a foul. Let's see that one again. That was just a good find from start to finish as we watch that. Just a lob. I think down, Downs did the rest to make it look so good. And he's another seventh grader getting a little playing time on the varsity. So with 35.6 seconds left here in the third, Woodlawn will inbound. It's to Brigham Beckett in the backcourt. Say that four times fast. Beckett gets it back now to McClure. Off the, yeah. I was thinking about it, thought too hard. Now Coke coming off the sideline after the cross-court pass. It's no good. Rebound underneath. Looks like that was last touch maybe by <laughs> Warner. I know several of these. the place uh, underneath. Tyson Frick, he's way better than his dad was. This Downs, he's way better. I know his dad, and he don't mind me saying this. He's going to be way better than Andy was. As he just leapt for that one. Able to save it to McClure. Good ball fake. He'll just rest and pull up. Shot's good. So Trevor knocks that one down. It's 61-29, Warriors. That's 20 in the game, 10 and a quarter for McClure. Lob to the right side for Warner. Left hand, skips to a right hand, and underneath. It'll be tipped out by Woodlawn over the baseline with 2.7 ticks to go on this third quarter clock. Warner will inbound for the Shamrocks. Has Heck deep, looking for the no-looker. Traub at the buzzer will knock at the shot off. Actually, he did. Looked like that clock slowed down for a second. Yeah. Weird. After three, the Woodlawn Warriors 61, the Sacred Heart Shamrocks 29. We'll take a break. This is the Holiday Hoops Shootout at Mount Vernon. We're back after this. Another reason Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin from our team member, Nick. Oh, yeah, that's an easy one. Wisconsin is the dairy state, so naturally, Culver's was inspired by everyone's favorite rich and creamy tradition, frozen custard. We make our fresh frozen custard in small batches in every Culver's. And the farm fresh dairy is why it's so decadent. It's a match, or <laughs> batch, 
Made in heaven. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. Welcome to Delicious. Jefferson County Farm Bureau is proud to support area students and athletes. For over 100 years, they've been a voice for Illinois farmers, educational opportunities, and local students providing money and saving discounts at thousands of national brands and advocating for rural America in Springfield and Washington, D.C. By becoming a member, you're partnering to support local farmers and helping to ensure the success of one of the nation's largest and most vital industries. To join, visit Jefferson's cfb.org or contact the Jefferson County Farm Bureau at 618-242-4510. You're listening to the Mount Vernon Shootout from Casey Middle School. Now back to the broadcast booth. AM 940, 96.5 FM, and of course, we're live on the WMIX Sports YouTube channel. Chris Hugo, Hank Evans alongside. Woodlawn Cardinal uh, Warriors with the basketball start the fourth. Turnover as Ramos will dribble into the front court, but then still on right back by Carter Webb as we have some subs in the ball game for the Warriors who are up 32 and this will probably be running clock. Certainly going deeper into the bench, I would say the starters are probably done, which will not be a bad day for McClure and Frick, we can tell you that. Kicked basketball in the paint, 627 left, and yes, it is a running clock, which means we will likely go back to, we will go back to Chris and Fusick more than likely between games. Just for a bit. Allow us to get up, get replenish ourselves, get some drinks. Shooty with the basketball. He's into the game. Nice pass along the baseline for Mooney. His shot's no good, though. Got his own rebound, followed it, put it back up and in. Make it 61-31. Limited commercial interruption today has been presented by your Malford and Culver's. We appreciate them. Bennett will try for the three. It's no good. Underneath the putback, Shively, yes. Shively gets on the board, 63-31. Let's see, we have Jackson, Shively, thought I saw Webb, Carey, and Bennett for the Warriors. As with 5.26 left in the fourth, this running clock will continue. It's a little sun is peeking behind the clouds. It's just kind of darkened things up a little bit in here. A lot of bright natural light into this gymnasium. Might be my new favorite gymnasium it's in Mount Vernon. Perfect size, I think. Three on the way from the top is no good by Ramos. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Bennett into the front court with a left hand dribble. Stops wing. Throws up top to Jackson. Looks for the lob over to the far side. Finds it. Gets the bounce pass right back. Stolen away by Wilgus. It was on the line. Nobody saw. And now Mooney with it. Stolen away by Shively. The layup is good. 65-31. Braden Shively. Four points. No, sir. Five. Five. Can't forget about that free throw in the first half. It was a big one. Shooty yeah. with it. And Throws it away right to Shively. Forces the other turnover. Shively's putting on a little show here in the fourth quarter. Colton Jackson into the front court at the circle with 4.30 left. We're in the fourth. 65-31. The Woodlawn Warriors will improve to 17-1. and one. I don't mean to call it too early, like an election night, but nice jumper off the window by Nick Carey. 67-31, and somehow this Woodlawn spread continues to increase. And speaking of that, they've blown out most teams this year, and it's coaches' predicament. It's like, when do you get your starters out? Well, it's not fair, though. They only get to play two and a half quarters every game. That's it's John, always a bugaboo, I John think. John Shadowins on the Saturday Sports Show back in the day always had a quote for that. I can't remember the exact verbiage now, but it was along those lines. If you, you I mean, know, they you, practice every day, and then you only get to play two quarters. I mean, absolutely. And then if you leave them in, you got somebody griping at you for trying to run it up. But a shooty tries a jumper that's no good, and this is what you don't want in a shootout is to see a team that you think is going to be a close game. Yeah. It's a blowout, and then you, have, you need your starters to get that depth, especially now, or get that – Build that up for when you go to RL. If you get to go to RLC, and that's a, a longer floor. And a bigger floor, that's certainly. It's 20 foot longer. As now Mooney underneath off of the pass. Mooney is able to follow, get. He has four in the quarter. It's 67 33. 320 left in the game. All the action today presented by your Mount Vernon Culver's. Turnaround jumper on the way. That's a good one from Webb. Carter Webb knocks it down. Oops. 60, okay, as I say, they have 67 on the board. It should be 69-33. We actually hit three on the screen. Our apologies if you're watching online. A shooty shot, no good. Rebound on the Mooney shot, no good, as he was blocked by Carey, who got the board. Jackson will be into the front court here for the Warriors. Up top, left-hand dribble. Looks to the left here for Bennett. 
Bennett back to Jackson at the volleyball line with 2.40 to play. 69-33 the score. Shooty with the steal will go the other way. Looking for the layup try. It's up no good. He's fouled. And to the line will go Owen Shooty. Well, Tony Kirkpatrick did okay today, didn't he? He did. And with Shooty, I'm going with the local pronunciation of said name. So my apologies to anybody back in Effingham County if I'm incorrect. Tried to ask before the game. Saw the coach from the hospitality room even. We were actually talking about the interstate construction. And I uh, did everything but ask for pronunciation. I said that the 57 construction would run until at least 2026. Everybody thought I was kidding, but I was serious. That's when the three lanes for 24 to 50 to Mount Vernon expect to be finished. Much needed. Interstate expert, believe it or not. Yeah. You're on them a lot, though. No, I just, I've always been fascinated by the uh, history of the Dwight Eisenhower interstate system from start to finish, and I know what everything means numerically, and most people do, but, I mean, I can take you a step deeper. As north and south, east and west. Nope, there's more to it. Free throw good, made one a 2-0 oh, and shooty. 69-34. Bounce pass by Oral up to the right side. I thought I saw Beckham. Now they swing over to Kirkpatrick. Oral with it up top. I thought I saw Rubenacker. There he is. I'm seated. I should probably be standing as it was stolen, and then Beckham trying to steal it right back, forcing a jump ball. And the possession, of course, favors Warriors. With a minute eight left in this one. Well, if your post game show to follow, we're in the window. We'll tell you this is WMIX Mount Vernon, W243 AV FM Mount Vernon. All that means is it's AM 940 and 96.5 FM. Bounce pass stolen away by Ramos into the front court. He missed his layup. I thought he was going to get it that time. 49 seconds left. Huge throw across. This will be to Rubenacker. Thought he was going to go baseline. Had downs down there. Kirkpatrick, oh, through the five hole for number five, and that'll go the other way. Good effort. Will Albert will inbound here. Owen Schutte. Also have Daniel Ramos out there and Joey Lesarge for the Shamrocks. Three on the way is going to be short with 23. The rebound pass Mooney. Looks like Rubenacker got a hand in there to force it out of bounds, but who was the last to touch? I believe it'll be Effingham basketball. They need to. Clock's moving. 12 seconds left. Got to get a shot up here. It'll be Lesarge to inbound. To Mooney inside, no good. Rebound will go downs, but out of bounds. It'll be Sacred Heart basketball, but they will not get the inbound. Final score of our first game of our doubleheader. It is the Woodlawn Warriors 69, the Sacred Heart Shamrocks 34. We'll come back and get you set with the post game show. We're back after this. Agriculture is everywhere, from fresh popcorn at the concession stand to the leather basketball on the court. Did you know 97% of farms in Jefferson County are family-owned? Local farmers and families right here in our hometown who provide food, fuel, and fiber to all. Jefferson County Farm Bureau is proud to support local farmers who provide us with safe and nutritious food and materials we use every day. Learn more about where your food comes from and how we support local farmers at jeffersoncfb.org or call 618-242-4510. This is Carmen Huey Dykeman of Huey and Newell Funeral Homes. And this is Marty Mills. We know that the weeks between Thanksgiving and the New Year can be joyful but stressful. While these times are enjoyed with the warmth of your families, it can be very difficult for those that have experienced a loss. This is a time to reflect and remember the wonderful memories we have shared with our loved ones. And let us keep in our hearts and minds all the men and women who are currently serving in our military, especially those who are unable to be with family and friends this holiday season. May all our prayers and thoughts continue to be with them and their families. Are you looking to build? <laughs> Have you called Budget Building Supplies in Woodlawn? They offer quality steel building supplies at the best value. Made in the USA, they work with contractors and do-it-yourselfers. Budget Building Supplies has your steel building supplies for residential, commercial, and agricultural. Wait, that's everything. They offer metal roofing, siding, gutters, trim, and more. No job too big or too small. Budget Building Supplies on Highway 15 in Woodlawn. Call 618-242-1123. When you think about planning for tomorrow, it may seem overwhelming. At Country Financial, we have a suggestion. Don't get overwhelmed, get started. Because when it comes to solving the big challenges of tomorrow, you can start with simple steps today. With personalized insurance and financial services that can have a big impact on your family's future. Country Financial. When you're ready to start, we're ready to help. I'm Country Financial Representative Josh Finley. Please visit my office at Historic 1004 Main Street, Mount Vernon, or call 242-4024. 
This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Schmidt Chevrolet Buick GMC postgame show starts now. I'll have to log in and fix that. This is actually the uh, special edition of the junior high shootout here at Casey Middle School. Final score, game number one of our doubleheader is the Woodlawn Warriors 69, Sacred Heart 34. This is your postgame show. Chris Hugo, Hank Evans alongside. What a game it was for Woodlawn. Well, they were certainly able to use their size advantage to dominate the offensive glass, and then when they got rebounds, they're off to the races, out in transition time after time, and really won this game going away. We'll take a quick break, come back, get your stats and scoring, and wrap it up here from the Pinkston Palace. It is Woodlawn 69, Sacred Heart 34. We'll be back after these. One more reason Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin? Hi, welcome to Culver's. Just take it from our team member, Sarah. When you order a Culver's Butter Burger, you're never just a customer. You're a guest in our home. See, where we come from, people do right by each other. It's why we cook each Butter Burger to order just for you, right down to getting the perfect sear on the beef. It's delicious. That extra care may be a small town thing, but it's big time important to us. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. Welcome to Delicious. Jefferson County Farm Bureau is proud to support area students and athletes. For over 100 years, they've been a voice for Illinois farmers, educational opportunities, and local students providing money and saving discounts at thousands of national brands and advocating for rural America in Springfield and Washington, D.C. By becoming a member, you're partnering to support local farmers and helping to ensure the success of one of the nation's largest and most vital industries. To join, visit jeffersoncfb.org or contact the Jefferson County Farm Bureau at 618 242 you can watch this game live from the Mount Vernon Shootout at WMIXSports.com. Made possible in part by Culver's of Mount Vernon. Back at the Pinkston Palace at Casey Middle School where the Woodlawn Warriors just finished a 69-34 win over at Sacred Heart in the Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon Shootout. With Hank Evans, I'm Chris Hugo. We're the post-game show. One of us has a scoring in stats. All right, first four, Effingham Sacred Heart. They fall 8-3 on the season. They were 8 of 30 shooting from two-point range, 5 of 17 from deep. It's 13 of 47 from the field, 28%. They went to the line six times while making three. The Woodlawn Warriors dominated the glass. They out-rebounded this Effingham team 41-19. to 19. Each team had 17 turnovers apiece. The scoring for Effingham Sacred Heart, it was Owen Schutte with one. Dagan Mooney had four. William Hecht and Jacob Warner, six apiece. Then leading the way with 17 points, it was Jude Traub. For the Warriors, they kind of ran a layup drill for quite a bit of the game. They were 28 of 55 shooting. Two-point range, one of six from three. They were 29 of 61 from the field, 48%. They made 10 of 16 free throws. It was Carter Webb with two. Nick Carey with two. And Tucker Downs had two as well. Graydon Shively, five. Keaton Coke with four. Luke McKay had 11. Trevor McClure had a big third quarter. He ended up with 20 points. And leading the way was Tyson Frick. He had 17 in the first half, added six more in the second half. He leads the Warriors with 23 in the game. Woodlawn got out to a big lead early and never really changed. It was 39-20 to 20 at the half. The Warriors stretched the lead. 61-29 after three, and has been the case most of the season, running clock in the fourth quarter. The final score is the Warriors improved to 17-1. and one. It's Woodlawn 69, Effingham Sacred Heart 34. Final thoughts on this one. Thought it was a good performance for the, the Warriors. Obviously, McClure had 20-ish, and Frick had 23. I didn't fully listen to your stats. McKay had a good night, but really. Their size uh, and yes. then uh, out in transition, and I don't. It's, the team's going to have to be awfully athletic to beat them. And now the game that we think will probably be the closest of them all will be coming up, and that will be Mount Vernon and Harrisburg. And what some feel like, if everything works out, could be a potential state final matchup at Winlake College. So we'll go back to some Christmas music for, for a bit. And when we come back, a little bit later on, we'll rejoin you here after some Christmas music with Mount Vernon and Harrisburg. So for Hank Evans, for Jeff Crow, for Alan Ross, for all of us at WMIX Sports, I'm Chris Hugo. Final score, Woodlawn 69, Sacred Heart 34. So long. This has been the Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon 